My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today we will see another example of factorizing the code and programming general behaviors that then you can reuse in your quest without uh, having to repeat any code at all. And um, yeah, for this example, I want to just do a small switch that will open a door because it's a very common mechanic in uh, this kind of games and the yeah the usual way um, that we learned uh, when we in in earlier tutorials was to give a name to your switch for instance switch one and oh, by the way maybe it also deserves a a sprite switch is this one for instance and the door also has some sprite so this one is uh, adapted for this style set and the door has a name let's say door A most of the times doors have two sides so we will this one will be called door A2 if you copy paste so that's fine, they both start with uh, the, the same prefix door A and yeah, like I was saying, the traditional way to uh, do this was to edit your map script and to say it's only three lines but still switch one on activated um, and you would do map open doors and here with the prefix of your of your doors door a and that's it and it works but how nice would it be if you could create some other doors in your map or in your game and uh, without even having to repeat these three lines well it's possible with meta tables and uh, if you followed the previous two tutorials, maybe you already have a pretty good idea about how to do it, but let's do it together. Um, okay, so the goal is to remove this, these three lines from our map script and to really have nothing in the map script. Any mechanic uh, that is common like this one and that all, might also happen in other dungeons Basically, we don't want anything at all in the map script. So how do we do that? Um, in our quest editor here, we want to have a way to link the switch to this door. How do we do it? Uh, there is no field about uh, uh, what the switch does. We cannot directly link it to the door, but we can use user properties for, for anything that is not built in. You can use we can use a user property so we decide the as a convention the the key so the name of our user property and it will be the prefix of the door to open so let's call this variable door prefix and for this particular switch the value will be the string door a okay so now we have the key and the value so the key is like a variable name and the value is the is the string value door a so the prefix okay and um, then the right place to program the behavior globally is in the meta table script of the switch type so we have created this meta folder in previous tutorials uh, in the two previous tutorials actually so let's do another one for switches we create a switch.lua uh, script here and that script will work on the meta table of switches basically on the switch type sol.main.get meta table of the type switch so switch meta represents the type switch And we assign the unactivated uh, 
function to all switches using this by assigning it to the meta table uh, and the switch is the variable called self again if you are not fam too uh, familiar with the semicolon syntax remember that this is equivalent to uh, that so we have a one parameter called self but if you use a semicolon here it's still one parameter called self but just implicitly so it's an object oriented notation um, okay so now we have the switch entity and we want to check if the door prefix property exists so we can make a variable called door prefix which will be get property um, door prefix because we called it that way by convention here in our quest editor door prefix so it's the key of our user property okay and if door prefix is not nil uh, then we can open the door uh, so let's get the map S uh, sorry local map will be switch get map and uh, map open doors we open the doors that have this prefix uh, door prefix and I think that's it so okay we wrote a few lines but they will work for all doors of the whole game ever and okay it didn't work because I forgot to call my code <laughs> uh, I forgot to execute this script so the place we where we usually call this kind of script is in features.lua here so let's require require scripts slash meta slash um, switch okay let me show you again the switch script cool it works and um, as always when you create something on the meta table it will be assigned to all switches of the game uh, but that doesn't prevent you from overriding unactivated locally for other switch for instance if I do a, one, a switch called switch 2 here um, by the way this one no longer needs any name I can remove the name uh, okay switch to let's say okay without prefix this one let's say it does something else it created a treasure chest or anything it's something unrelated to doors let's say then this one maybe it will have uh, sorry <laughs> I copy pasted the, uh, the switch entity uh, format but switch to unactivated will be um, anything let's just play a sound just for testing like we did for sensors previously in previous tutorials play sound uh, treasure just to check for that for this switch the unactivated is called instead of the one from the meta table yep I heard the sound the door still opens cool so what we define here overrides what is defined on the meta table so individual instances always have the priority I already explained that but I uh, think it's important to repeat and to understand uh, okay cool um, one detail with doors sometimes they are saved and we can easily save them from the quest editor let's say we save them we save this one in some variable called dungeon one door a so it has to be this name of variable has to be global to your whole quest because it's in the save, ga save game file so 
I call it door A, but I also uh, make it more unique by adding the name of the dungeon, assuming that this is um, in some dungeon called, um, that, that would be the first dungeon, let's say. So I save uh, both entities with the same, both door entities with the same save game variable. And here we will have a little problem with our switch. But the good thing, oops, sorry. <laughs> this teleport teletransporter is linked to the wrong place. It should be here, outside castle, from castle. Okay. The, the good thing is that when you identify this kind of bug, I, I go out, I come back, and the switch appears uh, as not activated yet again. So when you in identify this kind of bug, the good uh, news is that your code is not, is not duplicated, it's only here. Even if you already had uh, like 10 doors and switches in your game, you only have to fix it at one place and not at 10 places. Um, because yeah, our code is already reusable, so let's let's create another door actually before fixing the bug. Let's create a door called, um, well I can just copy paste this one, but um, door B, oops, door B saved in a, well maybe this one, okay, saved in door, in, in this variable. We could also decide to not save it, but let's say we save it in this variable called door B. Okay, this one is called door B, and this one is called door B2. By the way, you can check the names of entities in the status bar here when you uh, hover the mouse uh, on your entities. So door B, door B2, and if I do another switch, that will be linked to door B. So great, we didn't have to duplicate any code, we just created everything from the editor for our second door, and yeah, it works. But now let's fix our little bug that we saw, the fact that, well, if the door is saved, the switch is not updated. And as you can see, we only have to fix it once. So what we can do is that when we create any switch, when any switch is created, on created, um, the, the we can use the same uh, beginning for our, our function here. We still want to get the prefix of the door and see if there is such, if there is a door with this name in our map get uh, entity door prefix. So it means that this, this is actually more than a prefix, it has to be the exact name of uh, one of our doors. So here door B, door B here, um, wait, okay, map get entity door prefix. If you want, you can use also get entities, which takes an actual prefix, and it returns multiple, it returns an iterator and you can do a loop or something. But let's, let's keep it simple and assume that there is always a door called, uh, that has the, the the exact name as the prefix. And if that door exists, uh, so if door is not nil, then is it open? If door is open, door is open, maybe we can combine these two conditions. If door is not nil and is open, I forgot the then, and in this case we uh, make the switch already 
activated. Set activated true. Okay. And we just fixed all switches of the whole game thanks to the fact that we only uh, did the code once using meta tables. So let's see if we get out of the map and come back. Yeah, the switch appears activated and the other one also. So that's working. Um, maybe you, you are wondering if there is something about the creation order of entities here, because we are in the uncreated event of the switch. But what if what happens if the switch is actually created before the doors? Then the door will not exist. Uh, but actually, it will it will still work, and we can check it um, if we if we uh, put the switch, let's say, to the back. We are ensuring that it will be created before the the door. So creation order will be switch first and door later. And if we test this again, so I open the door, go out, come back, and okay, it works. My switch is indeed already activated. And the reason is that um, actually uncreated events are called after all entities of the map already exist. So the engine actually uh, creates all entities and and then it calls all uncreated events for all these entities. So it works. You don't have to worry about creation order. Phew! <laughs> what a relief. Um, okay, so this was a, a simple example of common mechanic that you can reuse in a lot of places and now you you no longer have to duplicate code whenever you create a door linked to to a switch and in your project i would recommend to to do that for all such common mechanics so there are probably a lot of ways to open a door in in your games but it's always the same that that are coming back usually uh, maybe a door that can be opened with a switch or by pushing a block somewhere or by killing all enemies and if you uh, put everything in the meta table scripts here, then your map script become completely empty, except if you have something very, very specific to, to one entity. But um, yeah, it, it really allows you to create your map just much faster um, because you already have the mechanics in place. Um, okay, I hope you are convinced. <laughs> In the next tutorial, we'll be a we'll uh, make uh, a cooler example with a door that will this time get uh, open by killing enemies of the room, and uh, I think you will like it. So thank you very much, and that's all for now. Bye.